how's it going i just ended a beautiful night it was really really nice um it could have been better because my upstairs neighbors were just on some st stupid ass shit and this is the thing that perps do when they see that you're happy and they see that you're you know relatively easy going because first of all let me explain the abuse cycle of gang stalking so what you'll have is like the quiet stages or the apologetic stage which is basically where the torture is at now and what they like to do is they like to see like how TIs function when the torture has died down and everything's died down um, it's still there but they like to see where TIs are when everything's died down so that they can weaponize that same thing against them later and with me I've been diving a lot more into my occult work, doing tarot, doing manifestation work, and I've enjoyed the hell out of it, and they know I enjoy the hell out of it, so whilst I was doing my manifestation ritual today, um, of course, there was noise from upstairs, there were people calling from upstairs, and of course, the mother employed the same tactics that the children employ and just just blathered on about headphones something i don't fucking know i don't care but the point was was that i think the line they're gonna spin is that they're scared that i'm gonna put a hex on them they know i'm not gonna do that i mean they might be dumb but they're not that fucking dumb they know i'm not gonna put a hex on them they know i'm not gonna do any shit of that sort to them they're just saying that because they're miserable and I'm, I wouldn't say I'm happy. I mean, I'm a fucking TI. I, I get fucking electronically burned and fucking cyber trolled and, and persecuted every day. So I'm definitely not happy, but I'm happier than the perps doing this to me. So it's really as simple as that. It's got nothing to do with any mind games that they think I'm playing, anything that they think I'm doing to them. They simply just trying to fuck with what I like because I mean not only does it pay their bills I don't, I don't know if it pays their bills I, I doubt it pays like for a fucking glass of drink or some shit but I think they've got a pad out of it and a phone out of it and that's about it but the thing is they're doing it is because the reason they're doing it is because I'm happier than they are and that's the only reason the gang stalkers have done that when I used to play piano, even though playing piano, as much as I love it, it didn't make me as happy as this does. This is the one thing in my life that has been completely consistent, regardless of whether or not I knew about gang stalking or not. It's been consistent. It's been with me through all these, all this time and all these times that I've been suffering and stuff like that. My interest in the occult has never waned at all like my interest in this stuff has just never waned it's just been with me since i was a kid it's never leaving me they could fucking like take everything away from me tomorrow and i'd still be crazy about the occult and i'd still find a way to you know find a way to come back to it but this is the point of the torture the point of the torture is to strip you like strip you bare because remember, abuse reveals a person's essence. It doesn't reveal who they truly are because when you're abusing them, they're not living up to their potential, right? But when you abuse someone, you see the essence of who they are. And the point of the torture is, is to reveal the essence of that person. And then once the essence of that person is revealed, weaponize that against themselves so that they'll be brainwashed to follow big brother or be brainwashed to assimilate or at least be eliminated right so that's the point of the torture in the first place so i'm literally at factory settings right now so this is the stuff that's been staying with me throughout my life my love of my love of um the occult my love of all things fantastical all that beautiful stuff that i love like that's been with me since since I was a young person. I've always loved it. I've always been interested in it. But of course, you know, anything that you love or are interested in or anything that makes you happy, like, if especially if the perps are fucked up and they know they're fucked up, they want to take it away from you. 
and that's what this was about tonight it was not about it was not about being scared that I was going to put a hex on anybody. They know I'm not going to do that. Like I said, they're dumb, but they're not that dumb. They know what's going on. I'm happy they're not. And it's fucking with them. And they don't understand why. But the thing is, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but what they're doing to me it doesn't detract from what I do. It actually helps what I do. So when I'm being tortured and when I'm be I can't explain it fully in a way that people understand. But when people are torturing me and they're harassing me and what, it actually helps what I do. It doesn't hinder it. So they're, they're thinking that. If they keep doing this to me, that it's going to hinder what I do, but it's not going to hinder it at all. It's going to, it's only going to help it. It's one of those rare disciplines where, I mean, if you play piano, somebody can easily traumatize you away from that. If you're, if you sing somebody easily could traumatize you away from that it's like but occult is one of those few subject matters where trauma cannot detract from its potency it actually adds to it i can't like i said i can't really get into it i can't really get into why but it's one of the few things where you can take the torture that you're suffering and just fucking alchemize it. Why do you think that they don't want us learning about it? Why do you think they don't want torture victims learning about it? Why do they? Th why do you think they want you talking about Christ and all that type of stuff without context and not understanding the biblical passages as they are? Why do you think they don't want you learning about this stuff? Because they know the pain that they've put you through. It gives you a certain spiritual protection. Not really spiritual, but karmic. A karmic protection. It gives you a karmic protection. What we go through is fucking hell. I will never turn around and say to all of you, Oh, you know, you should embrace being fucking irradiated to death. You should embrace fucking losing pints of blood every day. You should embrace being burned. It builds character. Like, no, that's fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to tell you that. But there is a karma that comes with harming life. And there is a karma that comes with being harmed. When you're harmed continuously like this, it builds up your karma. And when it comes to the occult, that's important. If your karma is shit, then they have nothing to work with. Why do you think these evil ass people keep sacrificing innocent people? Because they know their fucking karmic footprint is in. They know their karmic footprint is fucking long. So that's why they drag innocent people into their shit. They know, their, they know how long their karma is. I've got, I've got to turn this off, hang on. They know how long their karma is. Do you understand what I'm saying? They know how long their karma is. That's why they keep dragging innocent people in to sacrifice and do all that awful shit with. Because they know, they, they, they know their karma's in the fucking floor. They have really, really terrible karma. So they need to kind of protect themselves with other people's karma they're in karmic debt big karmic debt and when you harm living souls the karmic debt is huge but when you get harmed you're slowly you're slowly repaying that debt that's why humiliation rituals and abuse rituals are important among the upper alchemical circles because there has to be some amount of karma in order for you to have something to trade. When you, when you do certain manifestation work, trade is everywhere.
and it's a very controversial subject matter because this whole thing that I'm talking to you about when it re with regards to karma is the reason why so many innocent people are tortured in like the most awful cults. So they will use the same karmic principle to justify their fucking shit behavior. That's why like stuff like this is really dangerous for me to talk about. I don't like talking about this because it's it's not something to trivialize it's serious shit and and you have to really know yourself you have to know who you are and you have to know what you expect you have to know what your ethics and morals are before you engage in this shit it is so important you have to be realistic to your situation you have to be realistic to how you feel about your situation, all of that. You have to know who you are and know what your ethics are before you even begin to do some shit like this. Remember, these alchemical circles have been doing this shit for fucking like a thousand years, over a thousand years. Probably even more than that. It's thousands of years. God knows how many generations of people who know about this shit at the top. Torture is very, very, the, the karma that you get from abuse is very, very real. And the karma adds to what I'm doing. Doesn't detract from it. That's why people who are not good people, when they curse someone else, they wear a talisman to protect themselves or they fortify a physical object to protect themselves with. <sighs> so. With all this bullying and shit. And all this desperate behaviour. It doesn't detract from what I'm doing. It adds to what I'm doing. And they can't take away my passion for it. It's. It's. It's basically, it's ingrained in me now. They'll try though. It's not going to be for lack of trying. I guarantee it. It's not going to be for a lack of trying. Like I said, we're in the apology stages of the fucking torture. They'll find a way to try and take something from me. They always do. But no, the, uh, as for the hexing thing, like, that's why I wouldn't hex anybody and, well, not these days anyway, I wouldn't hex anybody these days. And as for me hexing the people upstairs, yeah, let me just go hex the people upstairs while they're right upstairs and they can fucking hear me. Are you slow? And let me go hex a fucking child so that I can fuck with my karma. Like, what the fuck do you think? Like, you think, like, I'm supposed to be smart, remember? Why am I going to hex anybody, and especially a young family, when karma is important to what I do? Karma is important to what I do, so why would I do that? Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And you can hear me. Jesus. yeah but yeah i mean any seasoned occultist will know what i'm saying is the truth it's funny that occultists and intelligence agencies are basically the ones ruining my life but of all the stuff that i've been the most interested in i mean i'm just saying it's strange it's fucking strange. You know. And when you get, you know, when you get into someone like me, like it's easy to, you know, if people wanted to detract me as a purple, smear me as a purple, it'd be very easy for them to do so because of the amount of shit that I know. But 
I'm not interested in helping fucking Masonic cunts. I'm sorry, I'm not not interested in it. I'm interested in helping TIs, but unfortunately not a lot of TIs are open to what I have to say because they've already seen how the occult has been used to harm them and to harm all kinds of innocent people. You know, they've seen the occult be taken to a dark place and they want no fucking parts of it. And I understand, but the Bible is a cult though. Prayer is a cult. There is no getting away from it. It's everywhere. It's, it's all over. But I had a great evening. That said, like even with the distractions, even with the attempted like, I had a great evening. But these people thinking that I'm going to hex them, like, no, I ain't got time, man. I ain't got time. I've got shit to do. Just because they fucking don't have nothing better to do all day doesn't mean I, doesn't mean I don't have nothing better to do all day. Like, come on, man. I ain't got the fucking time. I'm sick of their antics. It's a perp thing. Everything is about them. No. Everything is about me and my life. Stop it. But anyway... I love you, my fellow TIs. You take care. Bye-bye.